one of the things I keep hearing people say. And when I say people, I mean blog posts, gurus, and I don't know, anyone on stage and anyone with a mic is people don't read. People don't read, write short copy, make it as short as possible, condense, no words, people are illiterate. I don't know, that's, that's just what everyone's saying. I am here to tell you, people do read if you give them a reason to. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so how do you know what length your landing page should be or your email should be? There's actually a really simple answer and it is to do with stages of awareness. I talk about this a ton, but the further along someone is in the customer journey, the less copy you need to write. So if someone is ready to buy and they've come to your landing page and they're ready to click the, the, the purchase button, then fantastic, don't write a lot of copy, you can just say buy now. However, if your prospects are at the stage where they are still learning about the problem they're facing, the different solutions that are out there, your different offers that you're offering and your competitors, and they're in the process of evaluating different competitors and different solutions, then you want to write more copy. Not endless copy, not boring copy, copy that is right for them actually doing your customer research, surveying people, interviewing people, surveying your visitors, review mining, social listening, all the stuff I talk about all the time and you can find links to exactly every single one of them in the description of this video. If you do all that, you will know what people need to see, read and feel on the page to convert. Now, if someone isn't ready to convert and they land on your landing page and you're talking about your wonderful offer and how amazing it is, or that you're number one at doing something, or that you have a 50% offer sale, they will not care, they will click away. But if you make it about them, if you talk about the specific timing they are in, what they're feeling right now, what they're worried about, the roadblocks they're considering, everything that's happening to them and you spell out what's going to happen if they choose you and what results they're going to get, how they're going to become better versions of themselves, they will read the copy and they will convert. So the idea of understanding how long your copy needs to be really is about getting to know your customers and understanding where they are in the customer journey. So what I wanna say with all of this is that Immediately saying that people don't read or that every landing page should be short or long is incorrect. When you're building a landing page or writing out an email or creating a funnel, I want you to go back and think about the stage your prospect is in. Where are they in the evaluation process? What are they thinking about? What are their current pains? And how can you address those on the page? And that will help you determine how long the page needs to be. If it needs to be 2,000 words or if it needs to be 200. I can tell you that some of my landing pages have 5,000 words on them and they convert amazingly. But it's because I did so much research and I really understand who's reading the page, where they're coming from and what they're coming for. That doesn't mean you have to create a 5,000 word page. It just means you need to do your research and understand who your customer is and how long your landing page should be. Let me know in the comment section. Do you have long landing pages, short landing pages? What is your go-to? What have you heard? What's working for you? I would love to know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you in our next video.